Types of excretion. Excretory products in the chemical nature in the base of the excretion in all I to classify the tender. And they are ammonotelism or ammoniotelism, then uricotelism, ureotelism, and guanotelism. This ammonotelic animals are entirely aquatic. Then uricotelic and guanotelic animals are exclusively terrestrial. And ureotelic animals are aquatic and terrestrial forms. This table shows the major types of nitrogen excretion. First one is ammonotelism. Ammonotelism is excretory product is ammonia. That is the representative animals. Are aquatic invertebrates, freshwater teleost etc. Then next one is ureotelism. Excretory product is urea. Land planarians, cartilaginous fishes etc. Other representative animals. Then uricotelicetal excretory product is uric acid. Terrestrial gastropods, terrestrial insects etc. Then mixed ammonotelism and ureotelism. That is the random carnic in the animals. Aana. Ammonia urea ericum, excretory product, earthworms, metamorphizing amphibians etc. Then mixed ammonotelism and uricotelism. Crocodilians are representative animal. And mixed ureotelism and uricotelism, chelonians, sphenodon. Then guanotelism, excretory product, guanin ana. Representative animals are scorpions and spiders. First type of nitrogen excretion is ammonotelic excretion. Aana. Ammonotelism is the excretion of nitrogenous wastes as ammonia. NH3 formula, nitrogenous wastes excrete in the ana. Ammonotelism is the same. Ammonotelism follows in animals. That is ammonia excreted in animals. Ammonotelic animals in the And they include aquatic protozoans, sponges, cnidorians, leeches, flatworms, crustaceans, etc. Then ammonotelic and ureotelic earthworms, lungfishes, and metamorphizing amphibians. Ammonotelicum uricotelicum itol alkarana crocodilians. Amino acids in a deamination are ammonia produce in another. Deamination means or amino acid in the amino group in a remove in the ammonia then or keto acid and aling or hydroxy acid in producing. This deamination or another and types of oxidative deamination and hydrolytic deamination. That is oxidative deamination means oxidation reaction. Hydrolytic deamination means hydrolysis. Oxidative deamination is amino acid split and ammonia and keto acid. This reaction catalyzes the enzyme. That enzyme is known as amino acid oxidases and amino acid dehydrogenases. So, this reaction is oxidative deamination. Oxidative deamination is a reaction that is two steps. One is oxidation reaction and two is hydrolysis. This is hydrolysis. So, oxidation is amino acid and oxidation is an amino acid form. This amino acid is a reaction that is a hydrolysis. Hydrolysis is a keto acid and ammonium form. Hydrolytic deamination and non-oxidative deamination enzymes in the help of the enzyme is amino acid hydrases and amino acid desulfidrases. Amino acid hydrases are hydroxy amino acids in the deamination of the help of the hydroxy amino acids in the example is serin, homocerin and threonine. Then amino acid desulfidrases are the Sulfur containing amino acids in the deamination help in enzyme. Sulfur containing amino acids are cysteine, homocysteine, etc. This dehydrases enzymes in the action complete on the end stage. Dehydration stage is hydrolytic deamination. Dehydration is the serine dehydration. Then an intermediate compound is the form of the amino acid. Then, amino acid in hydrolysis is a keto acid and ammonia form. Desulfidrases enzyme in the action complete in the two stages. 
desulfideration and hydrolytic deamination. So, cysteine is sulfur containing amino acid. That is desulfideration. Then, it produces an amino acid which undergoes hydrolysis yielding a keto acid and ammonia. That is why ammonotelic animals are ammonia produce. Ammonia is a highly toxic water soluble compound. Highly toxic it has to be immediately removed from animal's body. Less toxic product is urea uric acid convert. Ammonia water dissolve ammonium hydroxide form which readily diffuses to the surrounding water. Ammonia excrete water required. So, water surrounding media is ending in the ammonia excretion. That is why ammonotelic cattle animals are aquatic forms. Terrestrial animals are ammonia excrete in water loss. So, this water loss is minimized and avoid ammonia as such excrete. It is first converted to less toxic urea or uric acid and then excreted. Next mode of excretion is uricotelic excretion. Uric acid aitana, uricotelic aitana animals nitrogenous waste excrete another. Liver lala ammonia linana uric acid produce in other bole nucleic acids in the purines in the metabolism vadi uric acid produce in another. Uric acid no are another non toxic ana water insoluble ana. So, it can be retained in the body for some time. Body will be retained in the body for some Uric acid is the Uric acid is crystal site precipitate. That is that dry crystalline pellet site is excreted. So, loss of water is not in That is water loss is minimized and adaptation is uricotelism. Uricotelic animals are completely terrestrial and they include land snails, terrestrial insects, lizard, snakes, marine turtles and birds. Lizard and birds in the droppings are white and brownish black material. In that is white material is uric acid crystals. That is nitrogenous waste. A brownish black material is fecal matter. In the insects and reptiles, uric acid is allantoin. Then, birds, for example, pelicans, uric acid is phosphorus rich fecal matter excrete. That phosphorus rich fecal matter is guano. That is fertilizer you see. Human beings are ureotelic. But purine metabolism is human beings in the body. A little amount of uric acid form. Normally, that is urine is eliminated. But uric acid deposition amount Angle, that is crystal side precipitate. These uric acid crystals joints like accumulate that severe pain cause. Our condition is gout. So, terrestrial habitats inhabit in animals in the physiological adaptation on uricotelism. The terrestrial animals have limited water supply and angle, uricotelism or another advantage. Anna. So, uricotelic acid is an advantage the uric acid is water insoluble and so its excretion involves only negligible loss of water. Since uric acid is non-toxic, its prolonged retention in the body is not harmful to the animal. Uric acid is toxic. Alla. So, the body is toxic effects on the animal. Na.